Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I want to talk to you about my pot smoke filled banking experience with Kathy and 2018 first uh, Food Max haul and how I came very close to choking to death. Not through my fault, well, in part through my fault, but mostly because some inconsiderate bastard at my bank who decided that he would pollute the air. Now we have a new law in California that you can do medicinal, not medicinal, recreational marijuana, one ounce, and inhale it anywhere. I have no problem with that, but when you inhale it and it affects other people, then I have a problem. And when it affects me, I definitely have a problem. Oh, well, Kathy came over, she opened the savings account for the car fund at Wells Fargo Bank, $3,190. <clears throat> we would add more, but she had expenses. And while I'm there, there's this guy in the bank wearing a Sherwin Williams shirt with Sherwin Williams shirt with paint all over it. And it's taken forever to deal his business. And he steps out into the doorway of the bank, right in front of the front door. And he pulls out this device about that long and starts puffing on it. And clouds of white smoke came out, more smoke than they use when they elect a pope in Rome. And then he opened the door. Well, I was fine, except I didn't realize that I didn't bring my inhalers. And of course, when you're busy choking, it never fails. One of the subcorollaries of Murphy's Law, I couldn't find a damn inhaler. And one of them was in my bag. Just found it a second ago. This is my one well, rescue inhaler. Mm. But I couldn't feel it. I did. And I'd left my other inhalers at home. And I walked out the door after we got done with our banking. Kathy came over. My internet bill, they were going to cut my internet off if I didn't give them $60. So Kathy, I took a cash advance, my credit card for 40 Kathy gave me 22 Well, this guy went in, and then he was so stoned, he comes back and said, I forgot this, and he forgot the bong. And Kathy thinks he was the same guy who was smoking pot at the Amtrak station at the bus stop yesterday. So I go down the street, and I can barely breathe. I'm leaning on meters, trash cans, poles. I go into Starbucks, I get a hot tea, that helped a little, but by the time we got to Amtrak, I was gasping for air. We get on the bus, I'm still gasping. As we left Martinez, I'm getting a little better. I get off the bus, and I walk the two blocks to Food Max, and I'm gasping all over again. It wasn't until I got the electric wheelchair that I was better. And I bought Kathy $19 of the food because she's short of money. She had to pay 80 bucks for the cash advance she took to get the car that we didn't get to keep. And I bought me 20 bucks of the food. I gotta go out and get cat litter tomorrow. <clears throat> and when the bus came on the way back, she goes home. She's not home yet. Just the act of loading my bags into the bus, I started gasping for air again. I couldn't even talk to the um, bus driver to give my transfer. So I'm wheezing all the way home, and then I come home and I croak up Fluffy. Fluffy comes running up the stairs. I do my usual pet. He always waits for me. And uh, had trouble opening the door, and I came here and collapsed onto the bed and started breathing my three inhalers uh, plus my Flonase. So for those who think, oh yeah, I can go to work. Well, I can't, folks. This is one. This is Advair. This is for Eva. The little pills. 
Oh, that's cat star. That's for the cats. Anyway, I got the little pill somewhere in front of me. I don't, don't have it in hand. But this has a little green pill. And you put this in here and you puncture it. And you breed this stuff. And then there's the rescue and healer I just used for the second time. And then there's... Two other things. This is the uh, generic singular, and this is the uh, flonase for my allergies, which helps the asthma. So there's one, two, three, five things that I take every day, or I choke to that. <clears throat> so. If I forget to take them or don't take them with me, I can choke to that. I still don't have my voice back. All right, let me show you what I got from the store tonight. Went to Food Max. Uh, so we got 3150 190 in the bank toward the car right now. She opened the savings account. I don't have to worry about her getting robbed or mugged or something. Okay, three calendars, herb roast chicken. I'm going to talk to the bank and say, can you do something that... People aren't standing in front of the bank doorway smoking weed. Okay, I got three of these. I love these things. I got beef and peppers. And if anybody complains about free packaged dinners, I don't have, I don't know if they even have the strength to put them in the freezer. Let me just gnaw them and raw. Okay. I got, cannot find my regular creamer, so I got this. And Bailey's Irish Cream Creamer. And we got some lunch meat. I always thought it was chicken. It's all turkey breast. And I got a can of chicken barley, Progresso. There's more here. Let my baby boy in. Let's see. Yeah, the ever popular. Toilet paper and let's see, here are these uh, rejected lemons <laughs> called lemon misfits. That's for my hot tea, which I'll have in a bit. And I got here steak and roasted russet potato soup and. In here somewhere. Uh, where is it? No, it's in the bottom. French bread pizza. Yes, I'm in a pizza mood, folks. Also, I don't feel like cooking. Rising Crest Supreme Pizza. There's the tea I drank at Starbucks. Uh, the tea bag is still in. The tea's all gone. I have one with the napkins here. I couldn't reach because I had full groceries. And then these cutie, uh, what the hell these things are, mandarin oranges. So that's, I'll make some hot tea with lemon, take a hot shower, and rest for a bit before I go feed the outdoor kitties. All right. So, I don't think we think socially of, okay, you can smoke pot all you want, but how does it affect someone else who isn't smoking pot? And I will bring this up with the bank and maybe talk to my state legislators. I've got them looking into something. In 2008, 10 years ago in June, there was a disabled renters and seniors credit. The state suspended. And at the time, they saved $185 million. And I asked today when I called my state senator, uh... Is that money ever going to be appropriated that we get paid because they were supposed to pay it with interest? Well, I figure in 10 years it may have doubled. And the other thing is the state, when they were fiscally broke, and uh, they, um, uh, suspended the cost of living increases for people on Social Security income. And so security, so 
uh, that money is owed to us and should be paid one day. Here's Fuzzy. And the baby. And uh, if we were to get that income that we were supposed to get, I'd be getting about $1,100 a month. So would Kathy. And by the way, I saw Tiny one today. She was at the front door clawing the crap out of my carpet. <laughs> and when I got up to look at her, zoom, disappeared. But my carpet is all shredded now in front of the front door. It's big lumps of carpeting. So I don't know what the hell to do about that. But and she keeps hiding. Fuzzy doesn't mind being petted, but she has a problem with being held. She, but I love her very much. So anyway, uh, next month. I had some extraordinary bills this month, so I won't be able to help Kathy out with the car fund. My internet's current for the first time in months. Just paid my regular bill in February. March, I'll give her $200 toward the car. And she's putting in $300, but she even ran low on food money. That's why I gave her roughly 40 bucks of the food. So, uh, we should have... Let's see, 31, 34, 36. Uh, we should have the money 1st of April. And uh, we should have 4000 the 1st of April. No April Fool's jokes. So that should, there's a car out there right now. A Prius for 4000 There's some guys are asking $9,600 for 2007 Priuses, which is outrageous. Way too much. All right, this is George Senda, <clears throat> the guy from Pittsburgh. And I uh, sent emails to the Slackmaster J, <laughs> Jeremy Nojoy, and told him that I talked to President Donald J. Trump, who will issue an executive order. The cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul will be merged, and they will now be called Slackburg because he is the Slackmaster, and he was... Uh, working on his secret invention, uh, uh, Jack Daniels filled Cocoa Puffs and had too many. So uh, he had stomach ailments and he won't take a flu shot. So I said, you need to slack off on the uh, Cocoa Puffs. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, finally able to breathe. Oh yeah, my eye is still... Uh, hurting, I had headaches, and I called my eye doctor, and he said that the redness in the eye and the headaches and the pain are normal. They will subside. But I can, if I close this eye, not trying to do my Popeye number, I can see the screen and the everything in the apartment perfectly clear. This eye is blurry. They got to operate on that eye, and then these will go bye bye. All right. Have a great day. A great evening. A great tomorrow. Stay warm and safe out there if you can. And uh, I will catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.